There is somebody there we can talk to. Huh? Oh, well, it depends on whether the person will cooperate. Well, let's give okay. him a try. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, young man. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, can you show us the way to Igwe's palace? Oh, you mean Igwe Kolo? Yes, yes. Why we go around this circle? Let's go straight to the point. My brother, we are looking for one Angela Okocha. Do you know of any man, any Okocha's compound here? Oh, of course, I know Angela Okocha. Oh, you know Angela herself? Ah, but her father no longer has a compound. What do you mean? Are they putting up in the bush now? <laughs> this man you are funny. What I mean is, um, Angela's father is dead. So, he no longer has a compound. In fact, both her parents are dead. This is funny. But Angela has a place where she lives. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, come and take us to, to, to her place. Ah, no, no. Ah, the whole village will be against me if I do that, sir. Why? You, you must report to Digbe first. He will in turn give you the permission to see who you want to see. It's the procedure. This is something else. Then let's go to the Igwe's place. It's alright, come come and take us to the Igwe's place. Let's, let's take the permission from Igwe. Can I enter? Yes, of course. Enter. Of course. Hey, okay, you people are enjoying, you know. Uh, Polly, uh, I think we are sitting in this car with a dim wit, you know. <laughs> Don't underrate them. You see, these village dim wits are the smartest guys you can get around here. <laughs> okay, are you referring to me? No, 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 we are just talking about uh, one incident that happened there uh, before we came here. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, let's go to the, Is it this way? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thread that, thread that. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> thread. Hey, fine car. I have heard your complaints. If the girl ran away with money belonging to you, it is not good. In this village, we do not support evil. We do not protect bad people. We expose them and bring them out for justice to take its course. Well spoken, Igwe. Very well spoken. Thank you so much. I will not crucify the girl until I hear from her. Aloysius, you will run to Angela's house and tell her that I'm calling her. Don't tell her about the visitors. Just tell her that Igwe wants to see her generally. You are well this law in this land, Igwe. Thank you very much. Off I go. Uh, Igwe, I must thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, she will soon be here. Just exercise a little patience. Okay. 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 Igwe, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. This village since you came back from the city with plenty of money. Now, either you agree for me or you go to prison. <laughs> oh goodness, Aloy, 
Who put me in prison? You? And for what? Oh, you want to know why? That money you came back with. That money you've been spending in this village, feeling like a big girl, drinking spa, and eating bush meat. The Ibe and I now know the source. The owners of the money have traced you to this village and they want their money back. <laughs> Alloy, stop joking. Hmm? Who is in this village? Oh, you want to know? Two men from the city. They have even reported you to the Ibe. In fact, the Ibe sent me to summon you. But you see, Angie, you and I can reach an agreement. Just comply. Alloy, Alloy, do you want part of the money? Me? Well, part of the money. No, you see, just run. Run into the bush and wait there for now. I will go and tell the Ibe that I did not meet you at home. The way the men have left, I shall come back and tell you. You see, whatever happens, I shall be giving you information. Um, um, how much do you want to be paid? Just go, 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 run fast. What are you talking about that when I come back with the information? Call you! Don't let you go come here and meet you. You will go to prison. You know? Call me back this, back this, back this, back this, back and meet. Go, 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 go. You go, you go. Angela and this girl. I don't know where you from that. But before I got to her house, Igwe, Angela had already run into the bush. Hey! Hey! What a shameful Igwe I am. My subject has put me to shame. Hey! Igwe, permit us to go fish her out of whatever bush that she has run into. You know, it might interest you to know that I. I'm an overseas trained detective. And catching criminals, hardened criminals for that matter. <laughs> it's my job. This one is, is a small trouble. But you're not from these parts. You don't know the bushes. Then how do you intend to catch her? Igwe, mm -hmm. I volunteer to guide them. Igwe, let me be their guide as long as they're in this village. There's no problem. Do you want him? Yeah, why not? You go, if uh, he's coming along, we facilitate uh, the arrest of that criminal. We wouldn't mind. After all, the guy that she committed the offense with is already in police net. Aloysius, you go. You have heard them. Yes, you go. Go along with them. Uh, uh, you go. But my friends, please bring Angela here after you must have caught her. I have a word or two of dishonor to tell her. Yeah, 
Polly? Go on. Polly? Yes. Have you found her? No. Where? Oh, I haven't. Polly? Hi. I thought I heard voices. Why are you talking to someone? Voices? Eh? No, it's my voices. It's, no, it's my voice, actually. Uh. But I had to. You know, you know, I was. Uh, it's my voice. I was just murmuring. Murmuring what? What are you asking? My fortune is lost, and you're saying murmuring what? I'm talking to my God. I'm talking to everything. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, don't worry, sir. Don't worry, sir. I know Angela. Angela is still in this room. Very soon, we can say. Let's go this way. Follow me. No, no, no. Waste of time. I have finished all this area. If you want us to do this, let us face that. You want this guy around? Go, 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 go. Right here. Hey, this way. I have finished all this. I have finished all this. Okay, okay. Oh, we must get this guy. You are the investigator. You know that. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go there. Fine, that direction is perfect. Uh, we have tried for today, even though we couldn't find her. But we have tried at least for today. And uh, we are not giving up. So I'm suggesting we stay in this village and do a thorough search for this girl. Because if we should go back to the city, it means every morning we will run. And you know the distance, it's, it's a very long distance. Every morning we'll go run back to the you know the village, then we'll go back to the city again. So I'm appealing if we could make here our base, if we have the accommodation and every other thing, so that we stay here and search within the community and even in the neighboring communities, because it's possible that she could leave this community. So if we could have such a listen, we're very pleased. That's a very good idea. Um I have a spare room in my compound here. One of you will take it. I will look for a villager who has a spare room in his own compound so that uh, the other person can take it as well. Anyway, there is just me in my house. I have a room to spare. Oh, that's a two seat then. Uh, 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 Dan, Dan will have to stay since he's the leader of the, 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 the chief detective. Oh, he solves it all. Okay. I'll call a servant to show Dan to his room immediately. Alor, you can take him along with you. Um, I want both of you to have a sound sleep, to be so refreshed so that tomorrow we wake up early and commence the, the, the day's searching. Uh, Igwe, please, could you show me this girl's place? Why I'm saying it is that we'll be sitting on the fence if nobody is monitoring her house. So I want to monitor that house very, very well in case she sneaks in in the night to do one or two funny things. Hello? Igwe. Please. Show him the, the way to Angela's house on your way to your home. Okay, you will. Thank you. Will. That's all right. Uh, Dan, no, no, don't get up now. You're the lucky one. You're staying with the Igwe. While I go and uh, patch up with Alan. And I'm not saying that your place is not. Thank you, Igwe. Yes, it's me. I'm 
come in. Let me open the door. Yeah. Oh, you have a nice place. Thank you. So how are you? Fine. I was waiting for you. Yeah, I am. Polly, first of all, let me say sorry for running away with your girl's money. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's not why I'm here. Kiss me first. Mm. Oh, God. You know what? Ever since you showed me your body, my brain is no longer working straight. It has caved in. My baby girl, I'm falling in love with you. You know that? Baby, me too. Now, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to stay in this village and pretend I am searching for you that I have not seen you, provided you're going to make me one promise that each time I come, those open your door for me, for me to come in here, stay with you, much close to your body. I can stay here till infinitum and nobody will find you. Baby, I'm all yours. Oh, my baby. I want you to tell the ego that you love me mm? and that you no longer care about your missing money and that you want to stay with me in this village. I can't do that. Why can't you? I cannot. See, what impression will I be creating? Here is somebody who invaded the village hunting for a girl. All of a sudden, I go and tell the ego I'm falling in love this girl, with this girl and all that and all that. I mean, it's Pauline, somehow. Pauline, now that you've slept with me, you're denying it. That's not the reason now. You know. You just check it. You know, I came here with somebody who is supposed to be a chief detective. Okay? What do you think he will do? He will run down to town. Not only prosecute me for false claim, go telling my wife and anybody who cares to listen. Okay? So my baby. Don't worry. Let's just keep making it secret a secret the way we're doing it. Let me just keep pretending that uh, you know I haven't seen this girl, I can't see this girl, you know. Now trying to fool them, I'm sure. Within a few days I'll figure something out. Okay? That's my baby. You know what? Who was that? Who was that person mocking? That was somebody who was disturbed. Don't mind him, it's Aloy. He thinks he's smart. Oh Aloy. He doesn't know that I knew that he was helping you to hunt me. You know, that was a trick to let the ego know that I was here, so they come and catch me. Oh Aloy, he didn't know we were falling. <laughs> he doesn't know. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't. Mm. My baby girl, I'll ask you for a favor. You know, each time I stay with you now, or each time I see you, I feel disarmed. I want to ask you for a favor. If you will grant me, I want to pass the night. If you don't mind. This is the fifth below. Oh, 
Yeah, you, you didn't sleep in your, in your room? No, 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 I did. You know, there's something with we city dwellers. We don't like the leftovers to stay so long in our system, you know, the next morning. So, very early in the morning, it's very quickly, we just have to go and, uh, you know, clear our boys, you know, clear the system. <laughs> so, where are you going? Um, I'm going to the bush to ease myself. Then, after that, I check my traps. Who knows if I'm lucky? <laughs> I might be making it at this too for lunch. All right. <laughs> so, lunch. Look, if it were for me, don't worry. You have worried yourself enough. You provided me accommodation. So what else are you? I mean, oh God, for I know. But still, you are my guest. Okay, no, I accept. But then, you know, we still have to go and look for that girl. Yes, Angela. Whatever you're going to do, hurry and then come back. There's no problem. Okay. There's no problem. All right. No problem. I hope the door is open. Uh, no, it's open now. Huh? Make yourself comfortable. Let me just. Go and ease myself too. Hey. And I want the meaning of this. No, 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 settle me. What do you have to do? Settle me, please. Settle me, please. Settle you. Settle you for what? For warning you to escape one time yesterday, before Oga Pana and his friend Oga Dan came to arrest you. Which one is settle you? Angela. I can see you are daring me. Settle you! Or I go straight to the Uber and tell him that you are here. And even suggest to him to allow me a lawyer, mount a 24 hour watch on this house and notify him any time you return here to eat. I will do it. Aloy. Aloy. How much do you want? <laughs> do you want part of the money? Who says I need the money? So what do you want? <laughs> Jella, you know what I want now. You know what I want. Are you not the finest girl in this village now? Fresh from the city. Eh? Is this how you looked barely one year ago when you finished from the college and left for the city to hustle? Eh? And uh, let's just go inside. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want is inside my house. Most definitely, it's inside. Let's go inside. Allah, I'm not going anywhere. Tell me what you want. You want me to tell you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, draw close, Alan. Let me whisper it to you. My ear is here. Just come and whisper. I'm listening. If you insist, if I might send. <coughs> like I see. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Alan! Can you brush your mouth this morning? Look, Angel. I can take everything from you. But there's one thing I can take from you, and that's the sword. So, do not try to insult me. Do you hear me? She it! Alan! Aloy, huh? even the local champion in this village wants to sleep with me. Aloy, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, you Aloy. You want to sleep with me. Angela, you wait and see. You wait and see. Aloy, I'm right here. I'm waiting for you. Oh. I'm waiting right here. Do your worst. Angela, you are challenging me to a duel. Wait and see. Wait here. I'm coming. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I got money. 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 I got this is not a matter of home. What about you? What do you mean of this now? Huh? A girl we all have been looking for. Turning the bush upside and looking for. I have now found her right in her house. Where we can have her easily. And you're here sleeping like this. Come on. You know, I was supposed to work. I'm a prominent figure in this city. Yeah. Big man in this city. You don't wake them up early in the morning. Right? But this is not early morning now. Huh? This is not early morning. Look, let me tell you. If we do not go now, I know that if I know I tell you very well, she will vanish into the bush and subject us to another tough day walking up and down the bush. What time is it? I can about time again. I don't know, maybe eight thirty or nine AM. The time is not the problem. Wake me by twelve noon. Oh, twelve noon. By then Angela will not only have disappeared into the forest, she would have also dug a comfortable hole for herself to sleep in. We are all the whole CID in this man cannot find her. And Angel. Come on, I'm right. Good night, good night. Huh?
Good night. This early morning. I can see you are not serious. Let me go see your dog. Get down. Angela will not escape today. I'm going to call her. Get down. I hope that one is not sleeping too. If you waste any time, she will run. But did you see her with your own eyes ah, in her house? Am I lying before? You know, I don't believe you. I don't tell us I'm a rasta man. Let, let's go. No, you see, uh, not that I don't believe you. You see, I was just wondering why uh, Polycap didn't follow you immediately. You told him that uh, you've seen the girl. After all, the money belongs to him. I was wondering too. I was wondering until he started snoring. That was when I realized that the matter has moved from a case of call or polycarpo to a case of call or gather. That was why I came to you. Let's go. Distant feet below. Oh, oh, oh. My head don't scatter. Bring catch fire. Waiting me the matter. Distant feet below. By the way, what are you still doing here? After I know you had been here. You shouldn't be here next minute. What are you still doing? Don't mind that fool. It's not a matter of not minding that fool. Right now that I'm talking to you, I I'm sure that they will be on their way coming here. You shouldn't be here, yes. Where do you think she can possibly be? Hey, the backyard. I told you. I told you. I promise I promise I I should have been here much earlier. Ah! Polly? You are here? You just escaped. Ah! The girl had escaped! In fact, I'm sure it hasn't taken long. She just escaped because I could still perceive the, the fragrance of her, her, her cream. Ah, which means she hasn't gone too far. She must be around here. Thanks. Let's start pursuing her. The problem is, which direction are we going to? We don't know which side she took. Mm, that's a point though. Oh, if I had woken up the time you woke me, mm -hmm. but I was just feeling so sleepy, I would have come here and I would have caught her red-handed. Polly, this is no time to blame ourselves. Let's start pursuing her now. You know what? Let's divide ourselves into three, as if we have three such parties. Different direction. Triangular. There's no way we cannot catch this girl. There's no way. You uh, understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. Let's go. When we do this thing, then, one person is going Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's hurry up, let's hurry up, let's hurry up. I'm, so, I'm sure she's not here. I'm sure she has not been. And then I know her. Should we go this way? Yes. This girl. The whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. But maybe. Wait, 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 wait. 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 I'm alone. It's Polly, it's Polly. Angel. Polly, why don't I leave this village? Why don't I run back to the city? My dear, 
you can't go to the city. If you go to the city, that means I won't be able to see you. Don't forget, my family is still in the city. So I can't see you. Well, you can come back to my house. What else are you talking of? Angie, the police is all over for you. They are looking for you, your pictures everywhere. So how do you think we can we can we can make it? It's not possible. Why? Yeah, Polly, why? I didn't know I was going to fall in love with you. It wasn't my fault. Well, I was looking for a thief and I found a lover. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry, you see? I'll figure something out. I'll find a way. Don't worry yourself so much, okay? Hmm? Don't worry. The money is mine. Everything is mine. The car is mine, so. I put you into this and put you out of it, okay? Eh? Mabel! No, li no, listen, Mabel! You are not the only woman who is not with her husband. There are people who are married to sellers, and sellers stay six months on, 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 in, on, in the sea, and they're six months on land. So, what is this? How long ago did I live? And you think I'm here for a pleasure trip? I am here to collect my money. It's a substantial amount of money, and I just cannot leave it like that. Would you demand money yourself? Mabel, allow me to catch this thief. You think it's easy? You have to give me at least two weeks. This girl is not easy to, to, to catch, the Angela girl. Mabel, 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 you have to give me at least two weeks. What I am doing here is not a joke. The girl is a criminal, she knows how to meander. It's not an easy, easy, easy catch. Hey, cool down. Give me time. I will come home Polly? when I get my money. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Please. I have good news for you. Yes. Very good news. Eh. Ha have they caught uh, Angela? No, I mean, have they caught Angela without me? Because I want to be there. I want to be there to give her the first slap. I overheard your conversation with your wife. And I totally support your wife. You see, this assignment has become very problematic for me. Eh? This girl is so slippery. We can't just find her. So you know what? I think the best thing we have to do now is to return to the city uh, so that we allow the Igwe to, to handle this issue mm -hmm. himself. Mm. That's a detective talking to me. You're supposed to be chief detective. Trained outside the country. Oh, of course. And you're telling me to leave your job. I came here to collect my money. Somebody stole a substantial amount of money from me and you are advising me to leave the thing for Igwe. No, 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 no. You said Igwe did what? You see, at present, in the Igwe's palace, there are six big boys, yes. very big boys, Watch and I believe in them. They have promised that within the next four days, they can get Angela for us. So we have to allow them to do their job. Is this uh, your, your, your handiwork? House. No, I mean, did you organize the youth, you know, to catch Angela? No, sir. You know all these youths. They had what has been going on in this village, and they come on their own. You know, youths. Yes. They come on their own. Oh, hey. uh, okay, let us uh, go now and then see what we can. Yes. Uh, huh? I have absolute trust that these young men will succeed in catching Angela. They are the best and toughest in this village. Two of you from the city will have to go back to the city, but you have to leave your addresses. Once Angela is caught, we send words across to you so that you come and take her to the city so that the law will take its course. Uh, Igwe, uh, well spoken, but I'm still suggesting that since we have more experience than these young boys, you know, youthful exuberance could cause a lot of things, you know, and in the course of this investigation. So I'm suggesting we stay here to supervise these boys. Particularly the fact that uh, my friend here is a chief detective. He's, he knows the X, Y, Z of this uh, profession. So you can give them some, some techniques, some guidance. Well, there's no problem if you insist. But these youths have to work alone without supervision. They know all the means and crannies of this place. They know how best to catch Angela in no time. Uh, Igwe, hmm? um, I will agree with you on that point. Um, no problem. We shall take a rest. Uh, and I will assume that uh, I, as a chief detective, uh, uh, have gone underground like a 
undercover detective. Good, good, good. What of you, my friend? My friend, hello? Mm, uh, Igwe. Yes, uh, no problems. So, we can commence the search immediately? Now? Yes. Uh, Igwe, they have to give me some time because uh, I'm pressed. You know, I want to go to the toilet in the bush. Just dash there and then come back. Uh -huh. Why go to the bush? I have a very nice toilet in my compound. Igwe, I can't wait for the key to be unlocked. I'm so pressed. Okay, you wait, wait a little while. Let's wait for him. Yeah. Angela! Angela! Angie! Come, come, leave this place immediately. The use of this land have taken over the search for you. And that is dangerous. Do you understand? Leave. Go to the neighboring village. I don't know anybody in the neighboring village who can harbor me. Go to the city. Go anywhere. Check into a hotel in any city. You know, you people still have the proceeds of my car you sold. Use it. You have my phone number, then call me. It's dangerous. This you, sir. Polly, this is the time to stand for me, Polly. You said you love me, eh? Why don't you go to the ego and tell him so you can stop me from running up and down? Listen, I love you. You know I love you. But this is a different problem. I cannot go to the ego and tell them that the girl I have come to find, that I'm leaving the girl, I love them, they should leave the girl. They will think I'm a very foolish man, okay? You know I still love you so much. Look, when we get there, we'll continue with our love. Okay? But right now, what is paramount if I used to leave before these youths come? Okay? I love you. Mm. Okay? Please. Distant feet below. Oh, 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 oh. My head don't scatter. Bring catch fire. Waiting me the matter. Distant feet below. So this is what has been going on in this village. No wonder. I'm so bold in rejecting me. All that we end today, today. Today, today. Me, Angela, Ibe. Today. Action. I'm relieved. Youths, over to you. There is no much talk. Igwe! Aloy, who organized us here? He's not yet back. Ah. Aloy is not here yet? Yes. Where has he gone to? Nobody Nobody knows. Knows. After you excuse yourself to go and answer Nature's call. Aloy to excuse himself to go and answer Nature's call. Ah, I see. <coughs> Move! Move! myself in the bush. I decided to do a check on her house. You will guess who I saw. Hmm? I saw this man <laughs> running out of her house. Which man? This man. Polly. Running out of her house. He, be, he had gone to warn her to escape. Yes. Because the two of them have been sleeping together since he arrived this village. No, no. That's a lie. It's a lie, of course. What's a lie? Oh, you want to know the truth? Oh, ask him if he has ever slept in the room. He will give him in my house. I always sacked the room every night, but he was never there. I kept wondering where he always went to. Until this morning, I caught him red and dead. So while we hunted for Angela and his missing mom, he had found a way to get together with her, sleep with her, show her the way to escape us. What a word. What a word, Igwe. Igwe, Igwe, please, can I speak? Igwe, I want to speak. Is it necessary? Go on, speak. Igwe, here's the money in question. 
the rest of the money, is it in the bag? Yes, sir. Complete? Yes, sir. All? Yes, sir. Okay, you just put, put, put that one back. For security reasons, when we get to the city, we know what to do with them. Go on, go on. I want to hear everything. Igwe, the truth is that I loyally exposed me because I refused to sleep with him. Me? Sleep with you? Ah! I don't sleep with the gorilla. Mm -hmm. Me? Igwe, don't mind this guy, she's a liar. Igwe, ask him who was the first person who came to warn me when detectives and police came to arrest me in my house. He told me to escape into the bush and means that he came to me to sleep with me as payment. Igwe, ever since he's been worrying my life, Today he came to me and told me that the youth have organized against me and that if I don't sleep with him, he's, go he's going to hand me over to them. Igwe, he grabbed me and brought me right here. Igwe, the only thing that will settle this matter is proof. Angela, what is the proof? Shut up! Uh, what are you talking about proof? Look at you the way you are. You still want to, to, to die on top of a woman. Why do you need a woman and with this title? You want to vanish when you were referring to him as a village uh, 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 nitwit. I told you that these people are cleverer than Solomon, the wise. Very smart guys. I'm, I'm just shocked. Totally shocked. You should go to, for bed, not women. Let the young girl go on. Speak, I'm hearing you. Igwe, I have no proof. But then I want him to swear before I'm a her that I'm telling lies. Aloy. Uh, Igwe. Have you heard her? Y yes, Igwe. Are you ready to swear before I'm her, the god of thunder? Ah, uh, I'm uh, What's there now? I can swear, huh? What's that? I'm a dear. Ah, Igwe, see? Igwe. Igwe, see, honestly, eh, Igwe. Igwe, the truth is that, honestly. Igwe, honestly, is that, uh, the truth. Igwe. Eh. You're fucking stupid! Igwe, you're fucking stupid! Igwe, you're fucking I agree. I asked her to sleep with me. In exchange for the information I've been giving her. But Igwe, to God who made me, I do not lie about her involvement with Uncle Polly. You can ask her that one. Mm, you don't need to ask me. Polly and I love each other. Mom. And he's been helping me to escape. That is impossible. Mom. It's not. You know what? Polly and I love each other. He loves me and I love him. He's been helping me to escape ever since. And he fell in love with me the first day he set eyes on me on the bush. And I'm not ashamed to tell everybody here that we've been having an affair. You and who? You and who? Who loves who? Look at her. How can she say I love her? What I do? What kind of nonsense is that? Look, arrest this girl. Let's start going. There's no time for us. Collect my, my, my money. Let's get out of here. Even if it's not lying, no. The girl is not lying. I saw him with my two eyes this morning. Coming out of a house, that I can swear before I'm doing. If police says he is innocent, let him swear to. Polly, can you swear? Mm -hmm. Why? What, what, what are you talking like? You know we have a long distance to go, and you're still talking about so. swearing what? Igwe, thank you very much for your hospitality and everything. You have done no good. And these people are trying to collect this money. Let's go. <laughs> everybody, wait. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, everybody. Igwe, I'm just Sit talking down. about the time because. Sit down. So you're denying me. Polly, you're denying me. The case has judged itself. Youth, Igwe. Take Aloy out and find him two goats. Nice judgment. Thereafter, flog him. With horse whip, oh. ah. not just ordinary cane. Horse whip, blala. Igwe, Igwe, tamper justice with mercy. Look at the condition of the person you, you are asking the youth to follow. Aloy, don't come for Tapu. Aloy, don't come for Tapu. Aloy, don't come for Tapu. Now, Polly, were you to be from this place, you should have suffered the same fate like uh, Aloy did. Did you at any time tell this girl that you loved her? Igwe, you're talking as if you're no longer, you know, if you know, this generation. I love you is no longer, it's like an anthem. Everybody, if you go outside there, you see small kids saying I love you, they sing it to music. It was just a joke. Nobody means I love you now. It's just, you know, a phrase. And she took it seriously. Love who? Did you at any time give her information on how to escape? I, Igwe, every other thing that I was doing it was a joke. Igwe, he would just say the same thing. That it's just a joke giving her information to escape. Igwe, done. 
take Angela with you. Thank you very much. You may wish to tell your good friend for tampering with justice. In fact, he has just tampered with justice by carrying that bag away. Igwe, as soon as I get to the city, we know what to do with this girl. She is a common criminal, common thief. We'll see what we're going to do about her. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Eh? Get up. Get up. Carry the bag. This way. Igwe, thank you, eh? Igwe. Yeah, this way. Dan, where are you? Come on, this way. Screaming. Move on there.
Kole. I am disappointed in you. Totally disappointed in you. Now you should be disappointed in yourself, not me. You should be disappointed in yourself. Why should I be disappointed in myself and not you? Eh? If that boy Aloy hadn't broken through his lust and caught this girl, by now we would have still been in that village with mosquito bites, dining with insights and things like that. That is the more reason why you should be ashamed of yourself. Is you a detective of such a, uh, by, by, by a high rank? You couldn't know when I was playing tricks on you or when anybody was doing any other thing. Is it not a failure of your part? Answer me. Oh, so you were playing tricks on me. Hmm. Are you listening to yourself, Tom? Now, will you shut up for me to drive to the city? And when we get to the city, you will see what I will do to you. Don't tell me to shut up, my friend. Just go. Don't just throw frustration on yourself, not on me. Because you have failed. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's enough. Stop that giggling. Let me tell you. Did you hear me? Angela. You should be happy now. I'm quarreling with my friend. Everybody is quarreling with everybody. Just because of you and your behavior. Shut up, bro. Donna, I want to urinate. You want to what? I want to urinate. You're going to urinate inside this car because nobody's going to stop this vehicle. Don, I want to urinate, please. I saw you urinate in the car. Polly, just ease down on this girl. Okay? Ease up on her. She wants to urinate. She's hard pressed. When did you become a reverend gentleman? My reverend detective. It's all right. One again. She will. I'm going to pull over. Pull. You can even escort her to that place. Okay, what's my name? Polly, just give me some space, eh? I'm not going to vanish into thin air. Who knows whether you're going to vanish? You have done worse things. I'm not going to give you any space. I'm giving you close marking if you don't know. Ah. So you relate. Even a prisoner needs some respect. Please just just go back. I want to urinate. Mm. This prisoner does not. You stay in there, the whole village, telling everybody this is what happened. This is instead of keeping your mouth shut. Between my ego. If you want pee on your body. Oh ah uh, oh, God done! <laughs> oh God done! Uh, oh God done! I could go. Done! <laughs> Damn your Jesus. Dad! Oh God, Dad! What's happening here? Huh? Ask how. I don't know for her. I want to urinate. He's been standing there. I, I told him to go, but he doesn't want to give me some space. Uh, Polly? Give the girl some space now. She is urinating and you are standing there. Haven't you seen enough in the village? What are you talking? Yes. The detective is talking like this. I should allow her to escape. Who is talking about escape? Oh, don't worry, Dan. I know where you're going. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now move, move, move. No, no, no. You see, there. I know what you're planning, uh, Dan. Don't worry. You, you see, what caught you? What caught me before. So go ahead. Tell me what you're talking about. Okay. Something is wrong with you. All right, I agree. Don't worry. Reverend Dan, Reverend Detective. Huh. Hey, do quick. You need a quick, let's go. No, turn back. Now I know what is happening. Yeah. This way, this way. Move, move. Oh. Here, here. Pass it, pass it. Come on. Here, here, here. I say move. I know. This is what happens when a beautiful man gets in between two, two fronts. It's always division, quarrel, uh, uh, whatever, castigation. Will you just shut up? Shut up! Look at who is talking about division. Division! Who started it all? You were the one who started it. Eh? When you, you went out there giving this girl information how to escape, and you are telling me about division. Look, you think I'm daft. Because you're the chief detective doesn't mean that every other person around you is a fool. Have you asked yourself this question? Why am I doing this? Do you know whether it's a part of the grand plan that I have to get close to her and then catch her and even get information about other people, her cohorts? And you're here talking because you saw, saw a beautiful girl. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Look, let me tell you, termites like you don't engage themselves in grand plans, okay? Instead of going to catch this girl, you want to catch her bed and start sharing her bed with her. Hmm? 
and then you left me contending with mosquitoes and dining with uh, with insects at the eagle's palace so it's jealousy it? jealousy you know i thought i was working with human being so i'm not a human being you're a dog she is the human being now and i'm the beast she's the beauty who did it was because of who that all this hey 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 why are you hitting her why are you hitting her why you are the cause of all this trouble you will see don't worry if i don't punish you god will punish I you i said sit down i'm in command of affairs here i understand it oh you are the, in control of her affairs because you have seen her affairs i'm the accused now and you are the lawyer she has bought now you move stop telling her to calm down we are men carry her into the car carry the devil just the bell you let me see come and take me out of here my friend What's all this? What's all what? What's all what? I'm telling you because I cannot continue to take it. Why would I push her? Why would I shove her? For what? Look, let me tell you. You are pushing me. I will not tolerate that nonsense from you. Look at you. Look at what you are talking down. Trying to protect a criminal. And you are telling me this because you happen to be a girl. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You are pushing me. <laughs> For a second time. For a second time, Dan, you have pushed me during this journey. Look, I'm leaving you not because I'm a coward, not because I cannot fight back, but because of what people are going to say that you are fighting because of a male girl. Not even a girl that is worth it, a criminal. Look, an accused person is presumed innocent unless otherwise proven in a law court. Haven't you heard that before? Look, all I want you to do is don't you molest her. That's all. Can you hear yourself? Look at what you are saying. A girl we cut the money, she owned up to the crime, she gave us the money, and you are still saying she is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Look at you. What do you want? What are you that are you looking for again? I want you not to lay your fingers on this girl again. Do you know this girl? You just met this girl. And you're going head over hills or hills over heads. For her, a girl who is a criminal. Let me tell you. I've known that you do not want me to continue with you on this journey. It's very obvious. Okay? Because I'm not carrying my own car. Go ahead. Good readers to bad rubbish. You can go anywhere you want to go. On my own, I can walk to the city. I'm not a weakling. And so what? Look, listen to me. Don't you lay your fingers on that girl anymore. She is not your prisoner. She is my prisoner, not yours. Oh, she is your prisoner. Who's arguing that she's not your prisoner? Dan, you are a man. I'm a man. Your thighs are itching. Your brain is no longer here. Your brain is now fixed between your thighs. I know it. So go ahead and tango. I wish you luck with the girl. Don't worry. Hey, Polly, come here. Don't worry, I can walk to the city. But you come. Polly, you come here. For what? I say come. What am I coming for? Come. For what? Damn you. What, 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 what do you think you are doing? Don't you ever lay your finger on that girl anymore. Was that why you called me back? So that I do not contribute my own fingers. Your fingers are, are, are okay. Dan, you are a man. We know how these things work. Pull your seat down. This is a very lonely place. Then use your fingers as profusely as you want. I will not contribute my fingers, man. If you want, use your toes and tango. Stay with her. Ah, where does this thing is going? Shut up, concerned citizen. Manage yourself, don't manage me. It's alright. 
Then stay. Don't worry. If I do not punish you, God will punish you for me. But I am required to the task. Come to the city. Ah, but the city is over three hours drive from here. It doesn't. It doesn't concern you. That because of a man girl who doesn't have clean ticket. You are insulting a fellow man. She's innocent. Then I'm sorry. Yeah? It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No. You need to be sorry. It's not your fault. You should be sorry. Polly. Polly. What's your problem? Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Listen for what? Look, this attitude of yours will do no good. Not for any of us. Look, the city is so far away. And this attitude will delay our journey. Just get into the car. Let's go. Dan. Nothing will ever make me enter this car. Enjoy your honeymoon with your, your, your criminal lover. I'm okay, am I, am I complaining? No, Polly. You see, you did something terrible, and I corrected you. I am the one who's supposed to be behaving the way you are. Yes. Now you've turned the whole thing all the way around, yes. and you are behaving the way. Yes, yeah, so am I complaining? So it's all right, you are supposed to be the, the one angry, and not me. I have decided to walk. Nothing will make me enter the... I've decided to walk. Am I complaining? Go, go to the city. I will eventually come to the city. So what is this? This attitude of yours will delay our journey. Come on, come and sit down. Why are you begging me? Will it increase your height or will it increase your weight if I enter the car? What's this? I want to walk, drive, enjoy yourself. What is this? Don, let me just go and talk to him, okay? Let me just go and beg him, okay? All right. What is it? Holly, please, just let's, let's go back. We all can get together. Please, let's just go back. Why are you begging me? Holly, it's okay. Let's just go. Please. It's okay for what? Now we have a new lover. Go and enjoy him. Look, nothing will ever make me enter here. Do you understand? Nothing. Go there. You have found a new found love. Holly, Holly, Holly. Leave me, leave me. Oh. Holly. Leave me. Oh, Polly, 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 I beg. I said I will not enter the car. Nothing will ever make me enter this car. So what is your worry? Why are you worried? Polly, we all came together. Why can't you just enter the car? Go! You have somebody you are together with now. So what's this? Why not? Why not? Why not? You can go. So now you are ready to go. Go now, go. Move now, move. I have entered the car. It's not because of God. If not, I wouldn't have entered this car. What for? In fact, thank you for being. Dan, please, you know what I would like? I want you to shut up and drive. I have entered the car. You beg me to enter. Please don't disturb my head. Well, I shouldn't beg you again for me. Don't beg me. Don't beg me for anything. How did you know that I like meat so much? I guessed. Ooh. But will that one be enough for you? You know I'm going into detention soon and uh, I might as well get used to little food. That's what detention is all about. Oh, well I guess so. I guess so. Poor me. I shouldn't have put myself in all this mess. But, come to think of it, 
you know, you sound so cool, you know, you look okay to me, and uh, you are a far away cry from someone who can be described as a bad girl. But if I may ask, how did you get yourself involved in this theft case? Done. I didn't steal anything. I had a call from my friend, and she told me she wanted to see me urgently. When she came, she told me she had something that belonged to her or Gapoli, and that she was trying to take everything from him. She begged me to keep the money. Later, I heard the police had arrested her over the same money, and I also heard Ogapoli was making a lot of trouble. So I panicked, and I ran away. The only safe place for me to come was my village. But you guys still found me. Oh, in that case, you don't have uh, any case to answer. What are you trying to show me? No, what are you pretending to do? That you love birds or what? Angela, let me tell you, you may even go scot-free, you know. You see, it all depends on how you present the case and how it is handled in court. If you establish your case strongly, the fact that uh, you are very ignorant of the real source of the money that your friend or your neighbor gave for kids, you will be okay. You know, keeping something for a friend doesn't actually mean or doesn't make you a criminal. It's not, it's not a crime. Except for items like um, guns, knives, you know, things like that. Oh, God, Dan, please. I would appreciate it if you helped me in this case. Oh, come on. I'll see what I can do. Madam! I'm through. Come on, take. Uh, no, carry it, carry it. Ah, why? I've lost appetite. But, Olive, you were the one who complained of hunger. So you, Dan, you, Dan, sitting here before me, you were telling the girl that stole my money, trying to show her a way of escaping, showing her one or two things to do to escape justice. Not to worry, we're going to the town, we're getting to the police. As I'm handing her over to the police for arrest, I'm handing a report against you as an accomplice. Look at who is talking about accomplice. About all your big mouth and your big talk, you don't even know who an accomplice is. You are rather the accomplice. You, you were trying to help her escape from us in exchange for a one night stand, sex. Look at you. You are rather the accomplice, boldly written in capital letters. You. Don't worry. I'm going to the car. Huh? I'll wait for you there. Play your love. Feed yourself. I'll be waiting in the car. When we get to the police station, we'll know who the accomplice is. Okay, Dan. <laughs> Don't mind him, eh? He's jealous. Eh? He's jealous because I've gotten so fond of you. Don't mind him. Don't mind the bloody fool. <laughs> Okay, we are here for stop and search. I see. Anyway, I'm a detective and I'm returning from an assignment after an arrest. Of who? No, 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 no. This is Dan Vistos. Officer, this man is returning from a honeymoon with a girlfriend. And they are criminals as I'm talking to you now. Please get these two people arrested. Take my word for it. Get this man and this girl arrested. Polly? Look, officer, don't mind this man. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a ranting madman. You are the one that is mad, Dan. If you think you can put blinkers over my eyes and snatch my girlfriend from me, you have another thing coming. Look, officer, get this man arrested by all means. Whatever it will take, I'm going to pay. Hey, holy death. What's really going on here? Are you too fighting over the girl? How's them? I'm not fighting over anybody.
this my ID card. And as you can see, I am Detective Dan. Specially trained overseas on special assignments. So, will you just let me carry on my assignment by taking this girl to the police station for questioning? Fake identity card, let me tell you. This ID card, all of you know that, can be done in any business center. So, is there nothing wonderful about flashy ID card? Listen, get this man arrested. If you do not, I'm going to forward a report against everybody here. Do you understand? I will forward not only to the CP, but even to the IG. So that you know the man standing before you. Um, excuse me. Young lady, are these men fighting over you? Well, come down first. No, sir. Then what is going on? Sir, I've been arrested. As the detective said, they're taking me to the police station for questioning. And who is this man? He's the owner of the money. The money I've been accused of stealing. <laughs> so, it's been confirmed now. I said, this man is a ranting madman. You know what's happening? He is fond of this girl. And this girl is not fond of... That's all. Carry on, sir. What do you mean, carry on, sir? I said, get these people arrested. They are criminals and you're saying, carry on, sir. Look, let me tell you. If you want this uniform on your body by next week, make sure you do what I am saying. If not, by next week, uh, this, uh, this thing, I'm going to forward report myself to, 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 to the, the AIG. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mr. Man, let me tell you something. You cannot just come here and tell us how to do our job. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. By next week, you may not have a... Let me see your numbers. Okay, don't worry. By next week, you will not have a job at all. Let me tell you. That uniform will be off your body. It's all right. somebody a lift down there. Look, you do. if it is the girl standing in the front there that you're thinking of giving her a lift, let me tell you, forget about it. I won't stop. Are you Mr. Killjoy? You want me to be watching you and Angela? I'm not ready to exchange words with you. We you are almost at the end of it. You? I won't stop. Ah, stop, stop, hey! stop, 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 Are you Killjoy? What do you mean? Allow me now, let me go. What sort of madness is this? Just but ignore him. Let him give wherever he wants to live. A good day. We were just uh, passing and I saw you. I said, look, I'll be cost if I should leave this girl standing under the sun for the next five minutes. I'll be damned. So I decided to stop it. In other words, the curse will come upon you in the next four minutes? Very intelligent. Intelligence upon beauty. That's right. Uh, what's your name? Eh, uh, well, people call me UJ. I'm Polly. They call me Mr. P for short. But I'm the dandiest of all time. Yes. So, and uh, you, what's your name? Momo Labo. Labo for short. Momo, okay, Labo. Labo for short. So, Labo, the clock is ticking because if you do not enter there, I will try. Okay, let's go. Okay. Can I hold your hand? No, not yet. I don't, you don't want me to hold your hand, I hold your hand. That's all right. Yeah, you can help it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Angela. Introduce yourself properly. Angela the prisoner. If you want to introduce yourself, say, I am Angela the prisoner. I'm Angela the thief. UJ, how many times do I have to tell you this? That Angela is not an accused. For now, she's a suspect. And when we charge her and array her before a court, that's when she becomes an accused. In fact, considering the facts of the matter now that I have, 
it's, it's not likely that she will be ready for a court. Dan, considering what you see in her, let's face fact. Considering the fact of the matter that you see in her body, which you are itching to have, that's the only thing. You did. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. You know what, sweetheart? Just don't mind them, okay? Just ignore them. They've been like that since we started this stream. Well, uh, like I said, I'm Angela. So, what's your name? UJ. Now, I'm really getting the feeling that mouse in this car have not been washed this morning and baths were not had. Come on, girl. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Me? Smell it. But why? Tell her! Because she thinks she's the most beautiful thing that has ever happened to Mother Earth. Now she can see that there are beautiful ones around. You know what? Listen to me. Don't come here and give me attitude. Do you hear me? Shut your mouth! You stink! Ah, don't come any closer. Ah. Uh, Angela, ignore her. She'll just get down of her very soon. She better ignore me or else I'll slap her mouth for her. Her young girl. You should know that I'm a detective. Huh? And I can arrest you for assault if you become unruly. Lie. Dad, you won't arrest any. Why are you making mouth? You cannot arrest my babe when I'm here. I mean, it's not. So let's forget about this detective stuff. Talk to her, my baby. You're not talking fire for fire. <laughs> Who's running now? <laughs> I tried to dodge. Sorry, my dear, for all the embarrassment that our presence has caused. We need to get some fuel, you know. Fill the tank now. Do you need permission from me to fill the tank? Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. uh, fill the tank there. What's your meter, sir? All right. For what? Why will I give you to the car? When we were leaving, I fell this car. I was paying for your feeding, everybody's feeding. No, it's not my car. You just have to pay. Well, you know, I don't have any money on me. So, it's not my car, it is yours. I fell the car, I was feeding you. Now you want me to continue? No. Polly, stop making a scene. Just stop making a scene and stop what you're doing and I give me the money. money. Which money are you talking about? But you have money. If it's this money that you have your eyes on, forget it. It was not going to come out. The same money that your sweetheart stole, that I recovered. Polly, I think you are forgetting something. Why am I forgetting? You are forgetting that this trip was made because of you. Lie right, down. You are doing your work. This is your job. It's a defensive job. We are still on it. Let me tell you, you are even supposed to pay me. Yes, because when we started on this journey, we didn't have a sweetheart. Now we have one sweetheart at the back. So, what are you talking? You should be paying me arrears. Can somebody please pay the bill? Tell them. It's getting hot in here. Tell them. Just take this. Hey, the sweetheart to the rescue. I love that. Fantastic. Thank Tell you very me. much, Angela. Thank you, Thief. Hey, now let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Senhor. For you only. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, my friend. So you didn't buy anything for Angela and I. I'm not ashamed, Dad. Asking me to buy things for you and Angela again. What impression are you trying to create? Oh, you want to tell the girl you can't even afford ordinary carrot. Dan, it's okay. I don't want to eat house or anything, yeah? I'm fine. I don't get it. Are you some kind of lovesick dog? Do you always have to speak in his defense? He's a man for Christ's sake. Let him speak for himself. You don't always have to interfere when he's trashing out issues with his fellow man. So keep quiet for once. Ah, you are bull or whatever you call yourself. It's enough. I've taken too much from you. Eh? Not so loud. Remember, your mouth is just made. Hey, it's your father's mouth that is still smelling. What makes you think that you're better off than anybody in this car? Eh? My dear, all you have to do is take a good look at yourself and then look at me. Then scream, scream, Miss Oozy Mouth. Lavo, Lavo, don't worry yourself. This ordeal is coming to an end. Soon we'll be at the end, the end of the journey. Okay? Don't you worry yourself. I don't know whether it's a thing of us now for me to buy anything for anybody. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, God forgive us. God forgive us. If someone had warned me or told me in my wildest dreams that this journey that we embark on will end up on this unfriendly note, I'll never believe it. But don't worry. Don't worry, my friend. Don't worry. Just let's carry it on the way you want it. No problem. I said, move, move now. Let's go. My friend. Don't command me. I'm not a driver. I don't. Okay, let's take. Nonsense. No, let us take. Whatever you're ready. Phone number. My phone is bad. I'm not online for now. Bye. Buddy. Come. Uh, uh, Labo. Uh, Labo. Uh, Labo. Labo. I mean, God is the man that you do not just part like this now. Uh, Labo, what is all this now? I mean, I mean, have I wronged you in any way? This is quite unpleasant. For you to just detect me like that after having taken care of you for, for, for the past how many hours? No, I'm sorry, my dear. You see, I've got an urgent appointment to catch up with here. Yeah? I've supplied some people with Wevons and they are going to pay me right now as I'm talking to you. So if I don't get there, they'll come up with stories later. I can't afford to miss it. Babu, come with me. You see, the thing is that when I see a girl like you, it, my, it makes my brain cave in. I get confused. Please come with me. I've told you, it's about money. I can't come with you. And time is money. Money? Yeah. So what do you think I have? Listen, what if I say I'm going to pay you all the money that I owe you? How about that? That's cool. 
really cool. <laughs> okay, so how much are they doing? Um, let's go to the bank. You pay the money to my account, then I'll tell you where. No, I want to know now. Tell me. Forget it. Then. No, 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 no. Well, Alabu, you're so irascible. Why are you, why are you behaving like this? You know, we're still talking. Okay, look. You know what is most prominent on my mind is to take you inside my room and on my bed. In fact, it has blinded all thoughts from my head. So, I can do anything for that. Want us to go to the bank? Yes. Let's go to the bank. Okay, let's pick a taxi. No, no, taxi? That you waste time. Let's take Okada. Okay. I'm a man of action. I always like to take my things the way they come. You know, you, you know the effect you're having on me. That's why you're, you're behaving like this. You know, you're getting me so much. This polycat man, he's taking too much time with this girl. I hope he's not up to any mischief. Look, I must go and hurry him up. Okay, please do, but make sure you don't get into any arguments with him. What? You have all of a sudden assumed the role of a very close friend, who cares? I told you I was getting from you. I wasn't lying. Really? Well, I've also started getting fond of you. But no. I've got a job to do. Yes. Only that one get to me. I still have to hand you over to the police for questioning. Well, go and look for your friend. My friend? No. My former friend. Some mischief, I believe. This boy is up to some mischief. Wait, wait. Oh, relax. I can't. <laughs> you understand? You don't know how beautiful you are and how attractive you are and how 
how charming you are. You know, you drew me like a magnet. Ah, wait, you didn't wait. What is wrong with you? I said wait. For what? I didn't come here to sleep with you. No, no, you can't be serious. You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Yes, because we're here to tango. So why did I bring you here? Yo, oh, now let me help you with your bad beauty. Whoa. Ah, wait, 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 relax, relax. I'm all hit. We had a deal. Have you forgotten? Agreed, and I fulfilled my end of the, of the obligation. Yeah, me too. I'm fulfilling my words for me to follow you and come and, and, and sit in your hotel, not to sleep with you. So why are you... So why are you in my hotel room to come and look at me? Am I a piece of furniture? Are you one? Let's order champagne food or something and let's eat, you know, chat. And get to know each other. My dear. I fulfilled my own end of the obligation. I paid half a million into your bank account. So there's no point relaxing. I'm here to take my money's worth. If you're serious, I am serious. Do you understand what I'm saying? I brought you here, here for us to tackle. What are you doing? You want to bring a gun? I am not afraid of guns, particularly phone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shout! I don't want these people to get to here because they'll be here when we're making this arrangement. You understand? I said, so you why do you want to rest me? Why? Ah! I paid you money! That's not the deal! He said, follow you, I'm here. So. Follow me here, I'm come and do, do what? I come and do Are you a shrine? Do I have to worship you? Deal with the next beautiful girl. Any be Hello. Hello. Yeah, baby girl, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. Well, good Bless you, sir. Bless you too. I saw you passing, and I said, uh, "Well, let me be honest with you. I'm a depressed man here. Ask me why." One girl, I don't know what's wrong with you girls. One girl just messed me up. I have to be open and clear to you. Messed me up. A girl who's not even worth it. Who's not even half as beautiful as you are. And I was almost heartbroken. I said, well, what do I do? I was just hovering and I saw you. Something told me, this is it. This is a girl that's going to make you happy again. So, Sir, yes. from what you just said, it seems as if you lost after the sins of the flesh. You just told me that you were depressed by a certain woman. What makes you feel I won't be worse? Oh, by their looks they shall be known. <laughs> well, probably I didn't take a good look at the other girl. But when I saw you, something told me that this is the girl that is going to fold me like a cloth. Well, let me start by introducing myself. Well, I am Paul. Some people call me UJ. I'm the dandiest old boy in town. I'm Mary, sir. Beautiful name for a beautiful girl. Sir, are you really a boy? At your age, you still call yourself a boy. Well, boy, inside, if you dissect me now and bring out my inside, it's as young as a teenager. But that was why I said old boy. You look at my face and look at me. The old, you go inside, you see the boy, they're bubbling. Okay, let me ask, sir. Are you married? Well, yes and no. Yes, because I was married. No, because I'm no longer married now and I'm divorced. You know, which makes us free, you know, to devour each other. Why don't you go back to your family, your wife and your kids? I believe they need you better. Because after sleeping with me now, what next? Well, who knows? If the thing is juicy, we'll the continue. Same, sir. Because my Bible tells me no matter what has caused the problem between you and your wife, I see. 
peace and forgiveness will pave a way for you in your home. And for the sake of your children, sir, they might need your fatherly advice and love. Agreed, but Mary, are you are you advising me at no, my sir, age? I'm you know, ju I'm just telling you from my heart what my spirit says. I should tell you, sir. When you go home and look in your mirror, do you really feel proud about what you do? Well, I can see you're probably born again, but I must say you're getting me embarrassed. You know, this wasn't even born again, sir. You, you know, human beings. Can you really be true to yourself, sir, and be proud of what you do every day? Chasing girls around town. Well, I said I'm the dandiest old boy. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I... do you think these girls are better than your wife or more beautiful than your wife? Ask yourself that question, sir. Well, I'm, I, I must say you're still throwing me off balance. Mary, why don't you go and convince me more in my hotel room? No, sir, I'm on my way to the Bible classes, sir. You're going for a Bible class? Yes, sir. Well, sorry, right. let, let me not just waste your time. No, sir, I can spare you some minutes of my time. I still have time before my Bible classes. Uh, but, uh, yes, sir, there's no problem. Come, sir. It's okay, sir. I should come. Yes, I can tell you more. Sir, you have to really look into your life, sir. Look at yourself. Think properly. These things you do. Are you very proud of yourself? Do you think these women are more beautiful or lovelier than your wife? You had betrayed me. I thought you had escaped. Run away. And put you in trouble with your superiors. I would never do that. I knew you would eventually pass it on your way to the police station to report me. I came out of the car to prove to you that I could have escaped if I wanted to. Angela, I'm happy I met the two of you here. What's happening? I mean, <laughs> you're on the road. Anyway, it's not important. Dan, I'm dropping all the charges against her. What? Yes. I'm now a repentant man. Since the beginning of this uh, adventure, let me put it like that, a lot of things have happened that uh, I come to realize that not really those that take your things physically are the, the worst. There are those who present themselves as beauties, as mammoths. They are even worse than those people with guns. They come, they glide into you, they ruin you. But then, somebody said something to me and it touched my soul. I've come to realize that this world is a very small place. We don't need to make enemies, we need to make friends. And if you wrong anybody, I think it's better you go apologize and be at peace with the person. I've wronged my wife. What's paramount in my mind now is to go apologize to my wife and tell her I've wronged you. I'm sorry for the stress I have put on your head and you too. I think if there's any way I can make amends, I would gladly do so. Well. If that's the case, I think you need to come with us to the police station so that uh, you issue a statement to that effect. No point, Dan. I think you can do that for me. Tell them all the charges that I have pressed. I'm withdrawing all the charges against them. I mean, Angela is a nice, she has a bright future before her. And I was the person who did the wrong thing. Let me go to my wife. Even if I come to the police station, I will go to my wife first, be a good husband to her, I apologize to her for womanizing for all the filthy, dirty, stupid things I have done. Let somebody talk to you. Talk and enter the heart. You will change. Thank you. You can be man and wife. I will gladly come to your wedding. Thank you. Polly? I'm 
confused. So now it means uh, you are free. You can go anywhere you want. You are just free. I've always had that uh, feeling of love all this while. Thank you. Oh, 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 Angela. Oh. Let's go. Ah! Freak out! Hello, Mabel. It's me. It's me, your husband. Mabel, don't cut the phone. Don't cut the phone. Your husband is a changed man for good. No, I am a changed man. Mabel, have a taste of me this time. It's not an empty promise. I promise with all my heart, in truth and in spirit. Please, Mabel, your husband has changed. Something has happened in my life, and it has made me realize that you are worth more than gold. I am sorry for any inconvenience I must have caused you. Please, please, Mabel. I am sorry, Mabel. Please, I'm coming home. I'm on my way home. So we can live as man and wife forever. Thank you very much, my darling wife. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so pleased. Thank you, my darling. Ah, that was my wife I was talking to. 